Hey, welcome to the channel. Today's video um, is kind of funny because I didn't really want to make it, but here I am making it anyway. Um, I don't have any plans really to do reviews of any kind on my channel. I don't like to review things. I don't like to assume that my opinion is more important than other per people's. So I kind of don't want to review things or like talk about products. Um, but I did get some new guys. These are some new um, World War II US infantrymen that I bought, and I was going to use them in some new builds later, um, but I figured, I kind of foresaw a bunch of comments in which people were saying, oh, where'd you get your guys? Oh, they look cool. Oh, how did you do this? Whatever. So I figured up front, I would just um, answer those questions in this. So you could call it a review if you want, but I'm kind of just answering questions about, you know, where I got them and what they are, um, which in short is a review, but it's not really um, supposed to be that. So I got these guys. Um, it's a four pack of them from um, Battle Brick probably a company that people know pretty well. Um, Battle Brick, uh, Brick Arms, Citizen Brick, a bunch of those other names um, are places where people get, you know, military Legos because Lego doesn't make anything like that. Um, so this is how they came kind of right out of the box. I have the little paper here too, and I assembled them the same way um, that they uh, sort of um, asked them to be assembled, like in the instructions. Um, but they, you can kind of assemble them any way you want. Um, so I just kind of wanted to go through and take a minute to look at them and appreciate them because I only have positive things to say about these. I think that they're really, really good and just wanted to um, just sort of throw that out there and um, just answer some questions about um, where I got them. So these are my, my Battle Brick Infantry guys. Um, they are really good in my opinion. I believe all of the weapons are made by Brick Arms. I'm not sure if that's the case. I'm fairly certain though. Um, so it came with this gun. Um, I'm not really familiar with the guns. I'm sure people in the comments would tell me if I asked. Um, I'm not really familiar with Arsenal from the Second World War. Um, but it came with this gun, which I think is an M1 carbine. I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, and then we have a bazooka, um, which is really cool. They're really quality um, weapons, and they look really good. Um, and then we kind of, we kind of have a standalone uh, minifigure here, which is pretty nice. Um, he's got the classic uh, World War II American helmet, which I believe is also a, a Brick Arms manufactured thing sort of a default face and default hands with um, texture printed on the front of his body and the front of his legs. There's nothing on the back. Um, they're fairly plain on the back, um, but for myself, I don't need things that are tremendously complicated. I do pretty good with um, pretty default um, sort of um, regular things. So this is enough detail for me and I'm very satisfied with these. Um, but for people who want a little more detail, maybe patches on the arms or stuff, uh, you'd have to go somewhere else for this um, because this is just probably the extent of what Battle Brick can do. Um, but I think they look good. They look really good. They have nice detail and they're all textured and all of the bodies are the same like that and all of the legs. Um, and there's a little variety in the faces and in the weapons. So that's the first guy. Here is the second guy here. He has what I believe is a BAR um, gun. And then he has a frag grenade, it looks like, which I think, again, I think everything here is made by Brick Arms as far as I know. It's got the same body and legs as the last guy and a mildly different face. Um, and that's it for that guy. The kid also came with this guy who has a belt also. Um, I don't know if I like the belt. It's kind of large. It has a holster piece here that's pretty big that sticks out, but the, um, the pistol does fit in it. So it comes with that pistol as well. And then there's a Thompson machine gun. And he actually has a watch too. I don't know if you can see that. There's a watch on his wrist, which is a fun little feature. Um, he's got a different face to the other guys as well. Um, and then the same texture printed body. And then the last guy has sort of a fancy modeled, uh, what I believe is a Garand with a scope on it. And then he has a, like a fighting knife. He came with a backpack too. I have some extras. I might put some extras on him as well. Um, and then he has the same face as the guy from the beginning. So these guys are the same. They're kind of like just normal faces. So like I said, all the bodies are the same. All the legs are the same. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just recently got these guys from Battle Brick. I didn't really know what to expect. I haven't really bought, um, custom printed Legos before. I didn't, um, I didn't think much of it. And I kind of just assumed that they weren't going to be that great. I know there's places where you can get even better ones. Um, but I was very, very happy with these. Very, very surprised. Um, and very pleased with them. So this is a company that I would definitely recommend. I don't know if that means anything to anybody anywhere, um, but I would recommend them. I'm going to be buying more from them just in the future. That's just a note for myself. Um, I like the textured bodies. I think that they're nice. Um, and they also comparatively, comparatively, were fairly inexpensive. Um, I did spend a lot of money on these, um, but I think they're worth it. I think they look good and they're going to look really nice in some new dioramas, I'm thinking, or some new mocks um, with my new tank. Um, and I'm also assembling a tank crew, so that'll be its own uh, its own video as well. But these just infantry guys I thought would look nice in some new builds. Um, and they have lots of fun weapons that I don't have um, anything like. So so that's it. Um, there's not much more to this video. I don't want to just drag it on because I don't think that that's um, any, really any more important to just say more things than have to be said. Um, 
I would definitely, like I said, definitely recommend them. These guys are pretty cool. Um, again, I understand that people probably want more detail and looking for more um, interesting uh, backs or, or, or fronts or sides or anything like that that are differently printed. And there's definitely other places you can go to get that kind of thing. Um, I don't know if I have the money to s spend on the more expensive ones, but I do um, really appreciate these and I think they did a very good job making them. I personally do not plan to keep them like this. I wanted to make this video fairly quickly um, after getting them so that I could start swapping stuff around because I'm gonna be outfitting them in my own way. I'm gonna be putting different faces and different uh, sort of weapon orchestrations and probably more backpacks because they have these plain backs um, and I wanna put um, you know, just some stuff to cover that up. Um, I was also thinking about taking little bits of black thread maybe and making some extra um, like bandoliers and uh, belts and stuff to hang weapons on or knives. Um, so that might be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, they have a really decent, um, sort of weapon loadout. Every man came with like two tools, which is really fun, um, because, uh, you get a large variety of things and I'm going to try to do the best to sort of just expand the stuff that I have and, uh, use them in some new, new dioramas. So, so that's pretty much all for this. I didn't, not really trying to review it, not really trying to show it off, just sort of make a point of like, this is what I have. So if people are like, oh, where did you get your guys or have any questions about it, then hopefully they can refer to this. Um, but yeah, I have bought from Battlebrick Customs. I don't have links or affiliation with them or anything like that. Um, people probably know it's pretty easy to find something like that. Um, but I definitely re recommend them and say that they're a they're a good deal. So um, I don't know, just a thought, just throwing that out there because uh, I'm I, I just bought these recently and I'm really enjoying them. So uh, thanks for watching and checking out this mini review that I will not admit is a review. <laughs>